Hey guys, Thomas from Team Soccer also here, come at you with another Yu-Gi-Oh! Market Watch for July. Now, like usual, this market's absolutely insane, and we're going to go over Battles of Legends in a second here. Before you do that, if you guys can make sure you're, you've are you liked the video and subscribed, that'd be great. If you guys want me to go over any cards, let me know in the comments section below for the next Market Watch. Last week, we didn't do too good on engagement. I guess people didn't really have a certain card they wanted me to go over, which is completely fine. And, like usual, if you're buying cards off TCG Player and you want to support the channel, please use the affiliate link in the description below. It helps me out to no additional cost to you, and thank you to those who do use it. Uh, also, 5 cards having your trade binder is coming this week, and I got some real good picks that I think you guys will really like. But, getting right to it, Gold Woo of the Dark Lord has gone bought now, and I genuinely do not know why, at $100. Uh, there was one here from uh, Vintage Values himself. For 100,083, if you watch MSK's market watches, and it's not here for me to make fun of, sadly, but $100, I I'm not paying $100 for this card. There's so many better ultis, like, you could literally just get Browse, like, th they actually use Brow, or, you know, Graph, or some anything else, really, right? Where a first set of this is, let's just see how much. Oh my god, these got bought out. Are you kidding? Well, you ult, unlimit, ultimate mo plays for like at least $22 right there. Yeah, 17 I mean, alright. I guess a lot of people like their near mint brows. Uh, okay. Madolches in Battles of Legends. Um, We only got Angeli. We got no reprints. We got no holographic reprints for anything else. They're just reprinting Angeli. So I already, you already see this bullshit's coming. Uh, First set near mint's $11. Uh, going up to 12 here. Wow. Uh, so I'm getting, I actually had spares of this card from my Abyss Rising box opening, and I'm gonna make some money. Um, this lightly played Unlimited for 333. These two right here, that's a real deal. Because right after that, you have a lightly played Unlimited here, going for about, with, with shipping, 675, right? So the price almost doubles, and then you just hit this $10 mark, right? So if you want to play set or just two, because two is a good ratio, is the ratio you probably should be playing, uh, it's right there. Uh, you want to know something else stupid? Get Medulce Chateau, that's just penny stock. You know, I always have a feeling this car would be bought out, and so many people bought. Like, listen, these were literally like a quarter or less for the longest time. Now, okay, 77 cents, right? But they slowly bought them out to like a dollar here. Uh, what in the actual fuck? Listen, and th there's a wall here for 250. Listen, I don't think this is gonna go crazy, but wh why couldn't Konami just put a holographic chateau or a holographic ticket in Battles of Legend? W would it be so hard to ask? Like they just don't want a rarity bump this deck. They'll do anything not to do it. I don't know why, and it's pissing me off. Like I've been playing this deck for a fucking decade. Give me a super. Of my field spell. You had so many opportunities, bro. Like, man, Medulchers could have their own documentary of being blue balled by Konami. Like, fuck, man. And, and just if you guys are wondering about Ticket, uh, you know, okay, so you have, like, very, very cheap copies here. 40 cents right here. Like, you're, you're fine, basically. <sighs> Ballads of Legends, so 10,000 Dragon. I don't know the pull rate of this. It's probably one every two cases, like Prismatics. Love me some Dr. Pepper. But I'm not too sure. Um, I'm going to probably be picking this up for the channel. However, I'm not really too excited to uh, do that, really. Not really at all. Uh, but yeah. Chaos, Emperor, the Dragon of Armageddon here. $35. I guess that's cute. Numerons are bought out, and I'm not shocked. If you guys are wondering why Numerons are being bought out... Uh, M Cole 40 has a great video showing this, but basically they're one of the best engines in the game. Yes, it can brick, but you can literally OTK with it, and you could put up really good boards just with one or two new. I think I believe it's just one new bronze card. So very very good here. Uh, o line at thirteen dollars. I mean, I expected that, and then you have glacial stuff. I don't know what this would be used in. I covered it, and I like these cards. However, I don't like them. Being $15. However, this is pre-sale, so a lot of it's stupid. Uh, you got Fossil Warriors here. Which, I'm not shocked. $10? That's actually pretty good. Uh, a lot of pe players are excited for this deck. For for a good reason. I actually do like this deck. High rate draw. Uh, it's, which is a really cool, pretty cool draw card, depending on what deck you're playing. 10 bucks, which is cute. 
Uh, and then, yeah, Medolce Angelis here at 8. Look, you could literally... Okay, I know it's unconfirmed here, but you could get, at the minimum, Ultras for $8. Aren't you glad that you didn't pick yours up for 45 Like, man. But overall... And then you have Appliancers. I actually do like this deck. The set overall, and my feelings for this, is that... The, certain de the decks and engines coming out are cool, but the reprints aren't that good, right? I feel like Toon Chaos had better reprints, right? And, and that's pretty sad. Uh, also, they're reprinting hero cards like usual um, once we end up finding these, but everything really is just cheap. Like, Super Cross Sheeps, I and mean, this could have been an OTS Super, but 5 bucks here. Uh, they're already reprinting Ignition Assault, which I'm actually very, very shocked at. Uh, but I guess with Attorney Code being delayed, I, I guess it is time to me Like, we're, we're getting on the time to look at Attorney Code, but the only other reprint they, that is really reason people genuinely care about is Holographic Cross Sheep and Lightning Storm. Like, everything else, it's like, nobody really cares, you know? Like, if they reprint Rose as, like, a rare, that's cute. That's really it. Goyo Defender, no one's getting this. I'm just going to go to the hero cards because there's something... You know, I don't even need to look. Here's what I'm going to spoil. Elemental Hero, Air Neos. If they put left to put Elemental Heroes in every fucking set, for some godforsaken reason, they're like, oh, Hero sells. So every time I have to see printings of heroes that sometimes we don't need, right? Like, Tune of Chaos, it was fine seeing Acid as a super. You know, it was a very old... You know, it went 9, 10 years without a reprint. It was hitting up towards that $20 mark. However, it's been 40 for a while, depending on how heroes do and everything. That's fine. Why can't they reprint this card with one printing? Like, you got first set here for 100, 105. That's cool. 114. And then near mints are 135. No, if you're playing heroes, you're not paying this, all right? You're not paying this. You're not paying this. Like... This is a card that's been needing a reprint. Like, they could have threw us a bone and gave us a secret rare finally. But, whatever. Like, <sighs> Destiny Draw. Coming out of Duelist Pack, Astral Phoenix as an ultra rare. Right? Usually, Duelist Packs aren't worth money. Uh, but I want to show you guys a few things here. Lightly Plates here. Dollar forty, and then kind of rising up here. Uh, which is really cool. You got some Near Mint Unlimiteds, right? But Near Mint First Ed is 20 buckaroos, right? And basically bought out. So, personally, what I would do is I would look at the light plays because people are going to notice how cheap they are. And lightly plates could be considered light plates in near mint. So, if you get like this, co these two copies, for example, maybe one of them is actually very close to near mint. Uh, and it's good enough to be called near mint. And maybe the other one actually is light played, right? So, getting these lightly played copies are a very, very good idea. And if you do, please use my affiliate code. Link in the description below. Yada, yada, big bang. Garden Rose Main. Now, before I get to this, you guys hit 25 likes on this video, 25 to 30, uh, right? And I will buy uh, buy some Legendary Duelist Sister of the Rose because I actually, actually find this set. Uh, last Market Watch, a lot of people didn't really want to see uh, Legacy of the Valiant. So I was like, all right, well, I'm not going to waste my money on it. But what about Legendary Duelist Sister of the Rose? Because this is such a great set at this point. It just it didn't take off at first. But... This card is hitting around, for first sets, there's one for 23 here, and then they're kind of going up to around the 25, close to $28 mark, which is pretty cool. Uh, you also have, fro uh, what's called, Frozen Rose right over here. Uh, good $7 card, that's kind of, 7 to $8 is where this has always been. Not a bad card, you know, a little bit slow, and I think that's why it's a little lower in price, but it's still a pretty good card. But yeah, if you guys want to see me, Open up the set. We're going to kind of go over it really quickly, actually. Um, like, boxes finally hitting $100 for Magical Hero. Uh, or not Magical Hero, but Sisters of the Rose. Urgent Schedules, 30s, right? This has always been a th basically the chase card. However, uh, Super Knot, Rail, Cannon, Juggernauts have always been like $10, and now they're finally hitting 30 right? You got these girls, which were 5 and I had these in a 5 card time in your trade binder. Um, I believe I had... It twice actually. So if you got those back then, you really won quite a bit. So good job. Harpy Perfumers, 24. These were 12s. I saw this going up. You know, these boys right here, uh, they were a couple bucks. Now they're about 10. Frozen Rose, Chariot Boy, Harpy Card. 
this there's really good ultras in this set. You know, even some of the the cheaper versions, you got a lot of like two dollar two dollar value here, right? And then you even have uh, Red Rose Dragon, which was a little higher in price earlier, about thirty cent, uh, seventy cents. You know, you might want to keep only fifteen listings here, right? Like someone has like a wall right over here, just getting rid of it. Bye bye, Felicia. But this is go it was about a dollar earlier, but I didn't do a market watch yesterday, so yo, know, good good small value in this set. So if you guys want me to see it, uh, maybe say in for Rose or leave a like. That would be fantastic. So. I try to figure out what I want to do for my next opening on the channel, so it's very hard to find um, Toon Chaos. But Mecha Fan Beast, Draco Sack, coming out of Tyke Young Galaxy, a lot of people have been looking for this card, right? A lot of people, ha I have an, uh, one from Mega Pack, and a lot of people have been like, damn, if that was first set, I want it so badly, like, a lot of people are disappointed. So you have Near Mint for about 7, uh, which is pretty good. This card used to be around 200 during uh, Dragon Format, Dragon Roll Format, if y'all remember. $12, listen, I'm telling you right now, alright, Dragon Ruler and Prophecy is gonna be a fucking legacy format eventually, right, so, 12 bucks and going, like, you got one here for 12, then there, it goes up to 15, this is a good buy, this is a card you want, like, it, it generates tokens, like, and it could pop a card if you need it, right, like, target one card on the field, destroy that target, right, so, it's pretty damn good. Uh, Mecha Fan Beast tokens, I'm not going to go over all of them, but as you see right over here and here, they're going up in value, about $7.50. And you guys are probably thinking, why is this going up? Uh, easy. Mecha Fan Beast uh, Aradon is a very, very good card right now. A lot of people have finally realized its potential. I told people to pick them up at around $0.75. Cents. Some people didn't listen, some people did. But these are the tokens you would ultimately use, right? So... The fact that Mecha Fan Beast has all this value is absolutely insane to me. Like, even stuff like fucking Colt Wing. And I actually had one of these in my book. Look through your book. You might have this shit. Especially if you bought anything from 2014. Uh, two bucks on Judgment of Light. Four bucks on fucking Megatons. Like, <sighs> you might have some small value. And you could get some bigger cards. You never know. Imperms. 35s on these, but secrets have been going kind of wild. Uh, I actually have a one first set and two unlim. I thought I had two first set, one unlim, but I had it backwards. But near mint, 65. Okay. First set lightly played, 70. Okay. Uh, first set lightly played here, just kind of at the $75 mark. Man, Flood was just such a good fucking set. Now I want to get into this crazy shit. DNA surgeries. Uh, from Duels League promos are officially bought out. I would like to know why. I don't, I genuinely don't know. I'm going to go, so this is the red one. I'm going to be flashing these really quickly, but like no one, nobody's paying this. Like Duels League promos, like ev everyone's like, oh, collectors, it's going to go up. Like these are cards that make your val your binder look like it has value, but value that people don't fucking want. But if you believe in the DNA surgery shit, purple right over here is 12, 16, 20. So if you want a playset of this and you think it's gonna hold, you literally have one here for 12, 17, the 20. So that's about 37. That's about 49 dollars, eh, 50. So would you spend that money on DNA surgery? That's up to the beholder. I'm going to give you a hint. Don't do it. But there might be some value in this. Just because people might buy it. But that's a risk. Uh, Street Patrol here. Uh, Secret Rare. I actually wanted these when I wanted to build Infernies. But Infernies was a lot of money. And these have officially been bought out. Uh, near Mints are 15. Wait. Ah, hold on. I saw first on the others. So, first set Near Mints here. You have one here for 45. And then one here for 80. This right here. Get this. This is very, very cheap, right? Because once this is gone, it's eighty dollars, and people. This is a great car for fiends. This is, you're literally buying at fifty five percent or like fifty seven percent. This is a great fucking buy right here. So honestly, if you guys are looking to make some money, get this. But eighty dollars and then kind of up to the hundred dollar mark. I don't know if people are buying this at, but it infernities if they ever make a comeback, right? Or just certain fiend type monsters, uh, decks, right? Because this is not a bad card. 
Uh, Texas cut off. That's weird. But yeah, old Duelist Revolution has been going crazy. Uh, Dark Graffer here, uh, from Phantom Darkness. I literally, by, like, shoot myself in the foot every single day. I could have got a first that lightly played for $45 trade. Because you want one of my ulti pod desires. Well, right now, uh, you have a heavy plate at 24. Mod at 55. And then you're literally hitting the $100 mark. And that's not even for first set lightly played. It's just for unlimited. First set near mint? Well, $100 actually here. That's pretty good. So, Dark Gruffers, if you want your high rarity Dark Gruffers, either for GOAT format or... This card's great. It literally foolish burials and is a discard outlet. And if you want, it could be an extender too. Like, Plus, it's not really good stats for a level 4, honestly. Plus, the artwork on this guy looks fantastic. Like, man. I mean... If secrets are a little too much, however, you can literally get Turbo Pack 3s, which I actually I actually kind of really like this, right? You can also get supers from, like, Phantom Darkness, DTs. DTs are actually a pretty good dollar investment right here. But Turbo Packs, I want to peep these real quick. 12 bucks, And then kind of going up higher. One page only. Listen. Y'all want actual good fucking buyouts? This is, this is an actual good buyout. Princess Pikachu, um, I found one of these in my bulk, and I was like, and I remember having two of these, because I actually really like this, so I actually have a playset now, I don't know how I found, I sold a bunch of my bulk at Locals a couple days ago, and this was in it, unsleeved as a first set, it was lightly played, believe it or not, just like a few little things on the back, I don't know how, but, we're gonna look at these real quick, I'm gonna put filters, because there's just so much garbage, uh, lightly played, there's one here for five, Near Mint's $14, but if you want a first day lightly played, it's $33. Like, I was literally looking through my bulk, I'm like, wait, why do I even have this? Um, I, I, I don't know what to say, why this is getting bought out, but maybe it's a cute card. Her sister, which is the better one, uh, right, which this just, this just burns, basically, which is the exact opposite. Uh, you have lightly plates here for about, uh, you have one here for about five bucks with, uh, and a picture right here. Let's look how this looks here. That is not lightly played. There's this little fucking thing. Oh my god, the edge wear is terrible right here. Top of the card. This is, I have, no, this is not lightly played. No, it is not, sir. Thank you for the picture. Uh, near mint, $10.00. How much is the first set one of these? Lightly played here for 20. Well, Lightly played here for 15 and then 16. That's actually not bad. First set near mint though. Third. Well, this is VLP. So, Lightly played to near mint. But $70. Let's just take a look at this. Oh. I, I see this. Literally, this bothers me. I, I'd rather get a Lightly played. Because I really hate when cards have side edge wear, but you know, for an old card like this, getting the light plays might not be too bad. Terraforming is currently being bought out. But this is one page left, guys. And then it's gonna go up to something real dumb dumb. You have one opportunity to pick it up at seventy dollars. I told people to pick it up at forty because this is literally it's terraforming. I'm not gonna explain this card. And I'll tell you this, the ulti looks absolutely gorgeous. You, do you want free money? We've seen what happens to old ultis like this. Like, tor, ulti tour guy used to be 60 Boom. $200. I'm literally selling mine for triple the value in the next two days. Right? So, just make yourself some money. Grab this. And if you have a couple money, place it. Just more it means more money for you. And if you do, use my affiliate code. Ulti terraforming. Yeah, that's absolutely... That's not really that insane to me. It's perfectly justified. Like, $100 actually is kind of where I think it should be. So I think ulti terraformings are cheap. And Emancipators. I want to go over this because a lot of people are saying this is a very expensive deck. Savage is expensive. The extra deck generics that haven't been reprinted are expensive. Right? The core? You get a place like this, that's about $150. All right. Maybe you get some it off someone for like a hundred to hundred twenty. This guy, which people, some players don't even use, you got maybe three, three bucks, 
then you're hitting like dollar or less range, right? And then you could get like common gigantuses. The extenders aren't really fucking awful either. Uh, like it's it's really not a bad card here. Let me see. Here he is, Sentry Soldier Stone. Secret rares. Uh, yeah, seventy cents, right? You could get so much good value here. It's not even funny. Toon Chaos. I want to peep this a little bit. Uh, BLS is at four hundred. Do I think this is gonna hold? Personally, I've seen collectors have a disdain for this. Some of them are okay with it, and some of them do like it. But a lot of them are in the negative range or the meh range, right? I think if you have one of these, I would sell it, get an IOC secret first ed. That's where a good value actually is. So, I, I would not, if you have these, I'd get rid of them. Uh, Stardust, I mean, I, again, you guys know my feelings about this, but 265. 200, 200. This guy finally going down. People just don't like him. because He also has the errata text, and I think that bothers collectors as well. Which, it kind of would bother me a little bit. Chaos Space, now this is a good collector's card right here. Infernoid. Gammas, at what 130 here? Uh, honestly, I think this is going to be one of the collector's cards that are going to be at the top of the list. You need three of these. You have a place set of value here. If these ever hit something crazy like three or four hundred, and you've got three of these, and you can move a play set, that that's enough money to get your other collector card. Your little boy right over here. But yeah, uh, I'm trying to get some more Toon Chaos, but it, it, it's hard, man. Like what I might actually do is I might just spend a day to get Toon Chaos and just drive to places like Walmart's, Targets. All that shit. Like, this is insane. Chaos Creator. 105. 90s on these. Uh, this isn't too bad, but eh. But, yeah. Uh, the set has calmed down, though. Extra abs at 45s. These guys at 22s. Infernoble stuff. Hey, $17. $18. That's not bad. Infernoble about 20 Like, there's so much good value in this. That's not even funny. 16, 15, like, good value all over. Like, then you get to, like, the dollar range, like, dollar gammas. You have quarter BLSs. This set's pretty insane. Like, I know I've been, I've said that multiple times this Market Watch video, but, like, this is probably one of the best sets that we've got in at least a good solid year or two. Card Trooper from DT2. Kind of going right here. Uh, you could get a lightly played here for 12. Near mint 15. Listen, DT cards on the rise. And people are buying DT anything. This is a card that you're going to want. Uh, sooner rather than later. Right? Card blocker from Ancient Prophecy. Uh, we've seen stuff like Ice Queen get bought out. Which we're going to take a look at again in a second. By the way, uh, very quickly. Uh, Shouts to my boy Christian. Uh, he had me on Twitter, and he showed me an image of the, um, Ice Queen, and he got one for Heavy Played, and honestly, it's, like, mod, definitely not heavy. It's mod play to light, and that's the thing. Sometimes you order cards, and they're not the condition they are. It's a little bit of a gamble sometimes, and that man literally just got a maybe light play first ed for five bucks, and they're, like, a hundred now, so, yeah, boy, won, but this is another cheap secret rare, like, Near Mint, 46 cents. And this is an Ancient Prophecy secret rare, right? And this was used at times, right? How much is the first set going for, though? First set lightly played. There's one more on the market. For about 7 bucks. Now, I don't like that shipping. But, hey. This is an old secret rare. Other versions, they're not really going to have value because it's not used anymore. Like, you have... Royal Mega Pack. I actually really like the artwork on this card as well. Then you got another holographic here, but this is kind of where you're going to want to look. This is a very good penny stock right here. Dante, Traveler of the Burning Abyss. I absolutely love this card. First set secret rare. Uh, $40. This is rising. I'm not shocked. Listen, Dante's probably one of the best rank threes in the game. 
And it's definitely it's definitely the most favorited rank three in the game. Right? And I absolutely love his artwork. I love all the fucking Burning Abyss cards just so much. Uh, you, however, you do have a first set of plate here for 26, 27. That's pretty good. Uh, this is, oh no, I don't want to add that to shopping cart. Except I might want to buy one of these actually, but. Uh, penguins. I, I literally, I thought that instead of looking at it, I was going to look at it together. Let's see this. Because penguins are getting new support. I was having a video on it, but my news videos don't do as well. So I don't do them as much. Uh, for thirteen, fifteen dollars, fifteen. Uh, but I will probably bring you more new, uh, news videos. I actually do like the blues or the purples more. Blue and purple are kind of like my go-to's. I know some people like red. I understand why. I kind of like all of them. You literally have oh McDonald's promo, flying penguin. Oh boy, what the fuck is this? Wait, hold on. I'm maybe because I have my filters on. Oh, thank God. Okay. Yep. This is pretty dumb, dumb. Yeah. I mean, you can play Rescue Rabbit with penguins, technically, right? Man, that just sounds like cancer. Penguin Torpedo, Battles of Legend, about five. You get Duelist League promos for a lot cheaper, so that's pretty good. And there's not that many listings, like six listings. Like, you got one lightly paid here for a dollar. I, I kind of want this. You literally even have Fluffle Pet, because it is a penguin. Two dollars. Net. I don't even want to speak to the Yu-Gi-Oh community right now. We're not, we're not going over any bullshit. That's Star Eater. All versions of this is worth money. To a point where I'm thinking about getting another a Judgment of the Light box for the channel. First set ultis here, twenty nine bucks. Ghost. So I was gonna trade for one of these, but you have Lightly plays here for a hundred, and then you have Ooh Italian. First set near mitts two eighty five. That's pretty insane. I want to look at this Italian though. Ooh, it's got oh, it's got a lot of scratches. That sucks, but I do really like it. Uh, but yeah, man, this is this is insane. I don't think anyone's gonna be paying this, but it is a very cool, very cool ghost If you got him at cheap, that's good. Number sixty nine, Harold the Crest is a good penny stock. Cause for some reason, I've heard in a Yu Gi Oh group that people want to buy this out. I don't look at Yu-Gi-Oh! buyout groups. I know some marketplaces do, and I completely get why. But sometimes they just say some of the stupidest shit. I can't even comprehend, right? So usually I like to do my market watch on my own. However, I do take a little bit from there at times. But, you know, it's th it's a solo printing number card. And I feel like this could hit a, maybe two bucks on it. We do have a lot of walls here, but it's just something to look at. Something to consider. So with that being said, guys, leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. And remember, 30 likes, I'll open up some Sisters of the Rose, because I can actually find that in stores. Peace.